What is going on, YouTube? PPS here, YouTube Play of the Daytime. I know you guys probably didn't expect to see me today. Uh, not much uh, in terms of action out uh, in the sports space today. Um, but you guys know I'm going to still come and find a way uh, to get you guys some plays today. So I do want to go to um, a little bit uh, a little more abstract conference. Still bet on these guys quite a bit. I like their quarterback a lot. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, let me pull up our record for the year so far. We had a one and one split um, on Saturday. Unfortunately, we lost uh, Michael Penix uh, in that one. So that was tough. I, I really thought we were going to go to OT and win that thing, man. I really did. Um, but 347 and a half, he did not get to. Um, so we drop, I think, 1.65 and then add this one because Damian Martinez. Hey, let's make it less sweaty next time, my friend. Make it a little less sweaty because, my God, I was clinching, man. This was a two-unit play VIP, and, uh, man, that shit was close. So, um, end up going to 7-3 and three on the year, uh, 2.74 units. Um, yeah, losing that 1.5 definitely uh, definitely hurts a little bit. So, got one play today um, for you guys. Let me make sure I put um, the team on here because I know a lot of you guys probably won't know the teams here. So, I'm going to be going over to um, – let me make sure I spell this right. I'm going to be going over to um, Western Kentucky today. They're placing off against Jacksonville State. Um, it's actually C O L L E Y. There we go. Now I got it. I'll be doing this on FanDuel. Malachi Corley, number one receiver for Western Kentucky. Um, I really wanted to play Austin Reed. I really like Austin Reed. Um, Played him quite a bit last year, a lot on Stat Hero um, when I was trying to get some big, um, you know, mid-major guys coming through in those big games. But this is a huge game, guys. Jacksonville State, third in the conference, um, five and two overall, three and one in conference. Western Kentucky, two and zero oh in conference, four and two overall. Obviously, everybody is chasing Liberty, and uh, Jacksonville State just lost to Liberty. And the thing about Liberty is Liberty is a pound the football, run the ball, work the clock. And they're very good at what they do. That's that's their identity, and that's what they're really, really good at. Um, but we look at Western Kentucky. They are going to chuck this ball around. Like I said, I love Austin Reed, man. This dude is an absolute beast. Um, averaging over 40 attempts per game, which I really do like. You look at Jacksonville State so far this year. Um, gave up a 90-yard receiver in MTSU, Sam Houston State. Um, you go up even to UTEP, right? They had a 90 yard, um, receiver in that one as well. Um, coastal Carolina had a 90 yard receiver in their matchup as well. Um, so number ones have eaten a little bit here. And, uh, I guess the definition of a number one is a guy with a 32%, 32% of his quarterback's yards. That is Malachi Corley, 24%, 24.5% of, uh, targets or receptions, right? So, so far this year, he's got 150 receptions, Austin Reed and, uh, Obviously, you go to the number one guy, Malachi Corley, is uh, doing his thing. Led the team in receiving in every single game but one, which was the first game this year. He's led him in receiving in every other game. Um, he even did – he almost – he had 88 yards on Ohio State, guys. Like, this, this – this, he's played pretty good teams already, right? They Obviously, that's a huge step up. But outside of the first game, right, he's been the leading receiver, 100 yards against Troy, 81 against MTSU, where he did not catch a pass in the second half. They were up big, right? They were up big in that game. They up one by 21, right? And he didn't catch one pass in the second half. He had eight catches in the first half for 81, which is obviously phenomenal. Um, and obviously in their last game, dude went crazy. Eight for 207 with three touchdowns. We love to see those pop-off games there. Um, and Vegas expects it to be close, right? Expects it to be a real close game. Seven and a half point spread. Washington, Kentucky being the favorite. 59 and a half total. Um and just to put this in perspective for you guys, Malachi Corley today is minus 300 to score a touchdown on DraftKings. That is wild. Absolutely wild. And one thing, one last thing I do want to talk about with Corley here. Obviously, like I said, he's been over 80 yards in four of his five games. Obviously, that one includes Ohio State, which is obviously very impressive. He has had a 30-yard catch in every single game this year, right? 34-yarder against Ohio State, 39 against USF. You go up to Troy, 31, and then a 70-yarder in their last game against Louisiana Tech. This dude is a big play waiting to happen. I would not touch you. I would not touch receptions. I want to go with receiving yards. This dude's elite. 
junior on this team, been there a while. Obviously, Austin Reed is going to chuck this football around. He will throw this ball around the yard here. I mean, you just want to look at his props. Austin Reed's at 306 and a half on DraftKings right now. And if we're going to have a guy get 32% of his yards on the season, I'll take that all day, right? I'll take that all day in this matchup. Um, and you got to have your big guy show out in big games, right? This is a Tuesday game. Um, this is a big game. Like I said, big conference game. You got to have your guy show out. So I'm showing out with my boy right here, Malachi Corley, rocking 90 receiving yards on FanDuel uh, at minus 122. I, It's only like 12 cents difference for a few yards. I'm just going to take it. I don't care. Uh, 90, remember, go to alt receiving. You, If you want to play it for eight cents more and, and get it there, I'd rather just do the 90 and roll with that. Um, I don't mind ladders at all either. Um, I think the ladders are fine, but it's over on FanDuel at the alternate receiving yards, Malachi Corley. I am all in on this dude today, um, and I really expect him to show out. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so you know when we go live tomorrow. Pass the prop. Time to roll, baby. Let's, uh, let's make some money tonight. And uh, I know it's a small slate, but always have a chance to make some money. So thank you guys. Hit that like button on your way out.